All right, Scout, today what are we gonna make? Uh, the Halloween um, scary um, fence. Yeah, it's the Halloween scary graveyard fence. This is what it looks like. Yeah, the airplanes are a little noisy, but we could still hear you. Okay, so show me what you got. What's this made out of wood, right? Yeah. All right. I can hear you. <laughs> so we got this Halloween graveyard fence in um, really simple to make, one by two strips of wood, uh, one by two by eight, so you get the eight foot long pieces. So Scout's over here, she's already starting. And Scout, we're gonna measure four feet, right? All right, I'm sorry about the airplane noise. Scout's gonna head and measure four feet. And what you're really gonna need for this project is you're gonna need a drill motor, some screws, and I'm using the one and a quarter inch, inch size, some matte black spray paint. Depending on how much uh, fencing you're gonna build, you're gonna want multiple cans of that. Um, I like to use matte black. And then of course a marker to mark it. Uh, when you're cutting your pieces of wood. So really basic and obviously last but not least you need some sort of saw to cut the wood. So yeah when it retracts do it again. Don't pinch yourself though. So it's gonna look something like this when we're done and then we uh, add these little ground stakes and zip tie it so that it stands up. So let's go ahead and start cutting. Okay, so Scout has helped me measure and we got the markings on these and the markings on these. And so we've got a four foot and 42 inches. So in order to make one of these fences, you basically need four strips of one by two by eights. And here we go. Good job, Scout. And we measure it at four feet and we marked it. And then with our saw, we go over here. And we're just gonna do a quick cut on each piece. And the thing to know is that it doesn't have to be exactly four feet or 42 inches meteor cuts because you want it to look kind of offset anyways because it's supposed to look like an old rundown cemetery fence. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that cut. Yeah, go ahead and keep your ears covered. Stay away when I do this. Good. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut another four foot piece and then two 42 inch pieces. All right, I've gone ahead and got my 42 inch pieces here, four of them, and then my four foot pieces, two of them. And all you gotta do is pretty much just kind of use your eye to line them up as best as you can um, and let's get it going from this way and the other one goes about this way it's kind of line up however you'd like remember you want it to look offset and then we're going to go ahead and place our 42 inch pieces on over it just like that. One, two, three, and four. You try to keep it kind of somewhat lined up, but there you pretty much have it. That's your graveyard fence. Just kind of even out, make sure the bottom kind of even, but you don't need it to be symmetrical. In fact, it's always a good idea to kind of like turn one a little bit like it's off to the side gives a little bit of um, uniqueness to it like it's run down and then from there once you have it configured the way you want just go ahead and put one screw in each connecting piece and then just using black one and a quarter inch drywall screws for this Let's put in a screw in each piece. I feel like you only really need one. There we go. And do that to 
each each side here. Just one screw each. All right, so here we've got it. It's one piece of the fence, and then I've got it just up against the cinder block so I can get it spray painted here. So I'm gonna hit it with some matte black spray paint. I'm not gonna make it all pristine. You know, you want it to look faded, and then you can throw some dirt on it. I might even put some fake moss that'll glue on there as well. Um, yeah, and then once you are ready to actually stake it into the ground, um, I just use these tree stakes that go behind it um, to help it stand and then I'll zip tie it. Fit it a bit with the spray paint until it looks like how you want it to look. So just hit it in the front and back a few times. And again, let it, let it have some little uh, patch marks and things to make it look weathered. And you got yourself one section of cemetery fence. When you go to attaching it into your ground, if you have decently soft soil, I just use these ground stakes, which are for trees and such, but I just do one on each side on the back end where you can't see it from the front, and hammer it down into the dirt, and then I just finish it with the black zip ties, and then uh, that'll allow us to have our fence standing up. What do you think, Scout? Did we do a good job? Now let's hold it up and take a look. This is the Halloween fence, Scout. All right, Scout, say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Right here. Scout, say happy Halloween. How are you guys, Margaret?